Hello folks, my name is Roger A. Price uh, and I'm a crime writer, uh, also a member of the Crime Writers Association and I'm chatting to you today to talk about what influenced me to become a writer, basically. Um, now, I was a little about myself. I was born in uh, Bury in Lancashire, now part of Greater Manchester, and I was brought up in uh, Whitley Bay on the northeast coast before returning to Lancashire when I was about 13, I think. And I've uh, lived in and around Preston and Lancashire, other parts of Lancashire, uh, pretty much uh, ever since. Um, now, like a lot of people of my generation, uh, I was quite heavily uh, into Enid Blyton. I used to love the her books, The Secret Seven and The Famous Five. Uh, in fact, behind me, one of my treasured possessions you can see a, a typewriter there um that is a, a, a portable typewriter can you imagine that classing that as portable in today's world but that is a 1932 imperial portable typewriter and it's the exact same make and model uh, which inner blighton wrote all her books on i mean can you imagine writing a book today on a, on, on a typewriter you know, every mistake you make, rip the page out, start again, and never get a book finished. Uh, we're very lucky today with uh, modern laptops and processors. But uh, there it is, and it might even be the one that Inn of Lighten used. Who knows? Uh, I can only uh, tell myself that, but I'm sure it wasn't. But it's certainly the same year and vintage. Um, but yes, I used to love the stories that she used to create and the imagination that used to fire in, in young minds, including my own. Um, so I was into books, thanks to Enid. Cheers, Enid. But other influences in, in my life, which perhaps led me to write, uh, there were there were two major ones, really. The first was, was my father. Um, I was the sort of youngest of, of the brood. Um, my dad was sort of nearly 40, I think, when I came along. So he'd fought during the Second World War. Uh, and he'd always talked during my childhood about writing a book. In fact, he was always in the process of writing a book about his war years. Uh, eventually managed it uh, much later towards the end of his life, which was a fascinating read. But I was always inspired by that. The fact he was writing a book, I just thought was magical. Um, even though he never finished it until I was probably in my 50s, but there you go. It, it sort of stretched and that memory was always there. But it's perhaps a little little more than that because I always had this bit of a desire to write. Now, whether it was bounced from my admiration of my father writing his book, I'm not sure. I'm sure it played a part. But maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's just in you as well. And maybe that just sort of added to it. I don't know what it was. But I knew all... Um, uh, all my life I needed to write a book um, but I was delayed because my second influence um, at that time was my eldest brother and that's not to say I wasn't heavily influenced by my other siblings if, you, if you're watching this but I was the youngest of the, of the, of the brood and, and Barry was the eldest and there was 18 years between us so to me he was more like a father figure really and he joined the police and he, and he was a detective and unfortunately we lost Barry when I was only 14, he was only 32, um, but I was sort of heavily influenced by that and I just had to join the police, I knew that, and I just had to be a detective like my big brother. So I was sort of vicariously influenced by, by Barry's occupation into, into becoming a, a policeman. Whether I would have done had he still been with us, uh, who knows, who can tell. But that was my second influence. And of course, once I was in the police, um, it's a little bit of a cliche excuse, but I think there's some truth in it. You, you know, spare time. You know, it's always a case, oh, I'm too busy to write, to write a book. I'm too busy to, to learn how to write a book. Uh, and that, I think in the 80s and 90s, it was a little, a lot of truisms in that. But um, I eventually left the police. I'd been a detective myself. Um, I visited countries all around the world, worked on major inquiries and major investigations, and had a lot of experiences. Um, 
all because I'd, I'd joined the police, and I guess I can thank my big brother for that. Uh, but now I had time on my hands. I was only, I was still quite young, and uh, no more excuses available to me. So I knuckled down in 2011, I think it was, and I wrote my first book by their rules, which was a crime thriller. Um, obviously, I've got a lot of experiences I can, I can, I can draw from. Um, the current series I've got at the moment, if you're interested, is the Badge and the Pen, where I've brought together uh, a detective and um, a member of the press. Uh, I found that quite interesting because in real life, sometimes the relationships can be a little fractious, though I never experienced that personally. I always thought that, you know, coppers and reporters are really after the same thing, aren't they? The truth. Just maybe serving different agendas, which sometimes clashed. But that gave a bit of conflict I could, I could bring with my my main two uh, protagonists. Um, well, the first in the Badge and the Pen series is uh, Nemesis. Uh, you can see the books behind me. Second was Vengeance. Third was Hidden, uh, which is the current one, uh, which deals with modern day slavery, which is something, thankfully, I never had to deal with. Um, I'm not saying that's a recent uh, horror. I think probably we've just woken up to it recently, uh, or more recently, and, and that, perhaps that's why... It was never apparent, perhaps during my time in the police. Uh, but again, when you dig into that, it's just, it's just terrifying and fascinating in equal measures. Um, hopefully there's a fourth in the series, uh, which is with the publisher now. So hopefully that's going to be accepted and be uh, coming out soon. Uh, and I'm also um, working on, or perhaps finished, towards finished, uh, a standalone book, uh, currently titled um, Operation Astral which is virtually or wholly influenced and uh, factionalised, for want of a, a, a non-word, on very, very real events. So I'm quite excited about that. Uh, we'll see where that goes when it's completed. Um, I'm also working on um, a TV series called The Fixers, which I'm very, very excited about. That's just about, just about ready to go out on submission uh, as we speak. Um, so there's a, a lot going on in the writing world. It's now my, my full-time job and I love it. Um, if you are interested in my stuff, please check me out on my website, which is um, rogeraypriceauthor.co.uk or just bang my name into Amazon and I'll, I'll pop, my author page will pop up. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed chatting this, this morning. I certainly have. Uh, I'll say to you all. Bye-bye now.